guys, Mike Lemens here. Uh, somebody asked me a question about would the movie K1 film in slow motion? And I gotta say, I don't really like that question. I think the question should be, will the movie K1 film in a high frames per second? Because the trick is to film at a high frames per second and then you slow it down with your software, whatever uh, video editing software you might be using. I'm using Final Cut Pro uh, 10. And so you, frame, you shoot at 120 frames per second, but then you slow it down. So right now I'm going at about a 3%, I think, of normal speed. And uh, I was lucky enough to find Leela over there hitting with her, her partner. Family was down there uh, playing some tennis. And she's 13-year-old up-and-coming player here in Denver, Colorado. She's got great strokes, and uh, she's a great competitor. Look at that left arm out there. She's got a great teacher, I think, over at Monaco. Nice forehand. So uh, the key isn't will the camera film in slow motion. It's will the camera film at a high frames per second. Once you get that, then you take your software and you just slow it down. Nice footwork here. And then it can use all the frames per second. You can film at 120, 220, whatever frames per second, but if you don't slow it down, it doesn't do you any good. This is at 50%. I slowed that down oh, and a little bit more there. A little miss hit off there. That's a rare one on her part. So I hope that answers the question. Coming in to put this ball away. He's not shy about that. I like that extension on the left arm. Coming around to hit an open stance forehand. She has a great uh, technical coach, I understand. So this is the movie K1. Uh, I did shoot it. This is shot at 848 by 480p. So it's not quite the 720 or 1080. Now I'm going to be doing another video here where I mount the same camera on the side shooting at 120 frames per second. And I'll put that up in a couple days and you can see how that turns out. Thanks for watching.